In America, are you aware that there are medical records that are private? I'd like to know, are your medical records public? Do the private aspects of your internal organs or external sex genitalia or your naked body, something that you put out publicly in the community, do you walk through the city naked? Are we becoming a national naked beach? Are we doing that today to teach our children what bodies look like today? Or are we allowing the parents of America to register what a child is and isn't in any way? Because when a child is born, what they look like might not be what they end up being transformed to. And when they get transformed into what the Lord makes of them, does not God in heaven have the right to repair them? If we have a child with Down syndrome, does a parent have the right to try to help them with their cellular health, which can be somewhat challenging and complicated in the fact that the genetics of that child is not quite rightly formed. It's technically malformed. And are there not other types of conditions that the human nature of the world has not shown us through National Geographics that some people think are absurd? But what you feel is absurd doesn't mean you own that condition, does it? What it means is you are open to watching a storyline, maybe on a newscast or a PBS blast, or something that took you to the frontline aspect of a situation. The frontline aspect of a situation might show a little girl is unhappy in her life. A frontline situation might show a man is full of depression and strife. But at the same time, there are people like me, like you, who have rights to their own life. And yet there's a religious right that says to you, no, you don't have the right to do that. You are an impossible child. I am not tolerating that in my American government. No, you're not. Because it's not your condition. It's not your record. It's not your naked body. It's not your genetics. It's not yours. Do you understand that you've just created a situation of human trafficking, which you've professed for years that you don't do? you professed for years that you're trying to help the police force to stop. Or did you deliberately, illicitly, illegally set your family member up to be human trafficked and information trafficked and spied upon and like a game? Because that game is not only lame, it's illegal. It's called stalking. It's called improper procedure. It's called sexual assault. It's called human genitalia mutilation. It's called everything you've done to harm someone's rights in your version of God. But what you did do was solicit, allegedly, people who love that individual to help you. And openly, that love is not welcome in the Lord's house because God was fixing the condition, not you.